Hey guys and girls, it's Ken and Jeannie here from OK Portugal and today is not another episode of Portugal Farm Life. We are heading to the seaside and we are going to a place called Figueira de Foz. So today we should call it Portugal Sea Life. Figueira de Foz is the second largest city in the Coimbra district of central Portugal. It lies in Portugal's west coast where the Mondego River meets the Atlantic Ocean. It is 34 kilometers of magnificent beaches and is home to Europe's longest right way for surfing. Today's episode is not a tourist guide. We aren't going to show you everything that Figueira has to offer. We just wanted to see and smell the ocean again and we wanted to take you all along with us. We've arrived. <laughs> it's a sunny day. It's boiling hot. Uh, it is lunchtime. So we're going to go and grab ourselves something to eat. I really miss the smell of sea air though. It's really nice to be back by the seaside. Yeah, it's awesome. So we've been looking on Google Maps to find ourselves a restaurant. And what we feel like eating today is a burger. I know that's not very traditional, but we're just going to find the place. Now we're inside the fort and uh, there's a whole bunch of like different things. So there's like a restaurant in there. Like a little market down here, pretty cool. Gina and I felt like having a hamburger, which I know is not very traditional, <laughs> By the seaside. but that's what we feel like eating, you know, so, you know, you know, that's what we want. Uh, so we found a place called Burgos. It's very highly rated on um, Google Maps, you know, all the reviews and stuff, and it looks pretty cool. This menu looks like it's for specifically the medieval festival, um, but this is just to give you an idea of like prices and things like that. Um, Gina and I have gone for one of these bacon lover burgers. And just in there is the sort of main restaurant area. So we haven't actually gone in there. We're just sitting outside, but it's actually quite nice. There's not a lot of people in here. It's nice and chilled. So obviously Kenny's got himself a beer. This is called Alhambra Reserva. Um, I think it's a Spanish, a Spanish beer. So cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers Gina. Saude. Dinner is served. We have two big burgers and they look pretty good. Cool, so that's lunch done. Now we're gonna go and have a look at what this place has to offer. So we've bumped into a couple of our subscribers here uh, who are from the UK and they've moved to Portugal. <laughs> two we weeks have? ago. Two weeks ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two weeks ago. So this is um, Helen, Darren and Rory. Yeah. That's Rory. So say hello to YouTube, everyone. <laughs> so we're not really used to uh, people recognizing us when we're this far away from Castelo Branco or Fundal. You know, normally like when, like when we go shopping there, then we bump into a bunch of people. But uh, yeah, we're like quite a few hours away from home. Right, so we're leaving like the market area now and um, yeah, this is kind of like the main sort of strip on the front and then we have the big expansive beach over here. So I think the first thing we should go and do is check out the sea. So we see this quite often in Portugal where you get these lovely boardwalks to take you places. I'm guessing this is disabled friendly. What do you reckon Gina? Yeah, disabled friendly until you get to the sand and then you might get a little bit stuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very windy today. Very windy. Um, Gina's had to even put like a little hood on. <laughs> and people are on the beach with their bikinis on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've obviously been in Portugal for so long now that like, I don't know, 24 degrees is no longer really? hot. Yeah, we're actually quite cold. <laughs> <laughs> now in the background over here is the Serra de Boa Viagem, which basically means the mountain of good voyage or good trip. And this is the city of Figueira de Foz. Now it's actually the second largest city in the Coimbra district. So it's pretty big. It's got pretty much everything you need. And it has this amazing beach which stretches all out over here. This lovely long pier over here. Uh, this is the bay um, that basically has the mouth of the Mondego River. So the Mondego River basically flows all the way from central Portugal all the way through to here. And then stretching out in this direction we've got um, I believe it's 40, 42 kilometers or 44 kilometers of white sandy beaches so just an incredible amount so we're going to take a walk down to the end of this pier and go and have a look at the view from out there geez there's loads of fish down there So 
So I'm not sure if this is what these guys are trying to catch, but obviously these big fish are coming here and it looks like they're gorging themselves on all the seaweed that's growing on these rocks. And the whole way down here, we've got all of these guys, they're basically like casting off their rods and fishing. Uh, there's a couple more down on the rocks there. Looks like a great place to fish actually, because we've got the wind blowing from this side and obviously down behind this pier wall here, it's nice and sheltered. Theo, <laughs> Theo, if you're watching, uh, Gina was saying that maybe we could even catch a fish here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like you can literally see them. I mean, maybe we could throw, you know, cast out and actually knock them out with one of the sinkers and then go down there and pick them up. I'm just looking from where we've come and this is a huge beach. I mean, look at all of the sand. The sea is all the way down there. Um, there's lots of like sort of grasses and even like little flowers that are growing on the sand. So it's not just pure sand. Um, but as you get more towards the sea there, it looks like it's getting a lot finer. So in the background here is where the Mondego River basically meets the sea here, meets the Atlantic. Now legend has it that Figueira de Foz got its name from a fig tree and the fig tree would have been here somewhere, a giant fig tree that sailors would tie their boats to. And that's where the name Figueira came from. Now de Foz basically means, well, according to Wikipedia, discharge. And it's where um, the Mondego River discharges into the Atlantic Ocean. And so this over here is where the de Foz part comes from. And as you can see, it joins up at this part here to the Atlantic. And over here we have some pretty wild waves as it starts to lap up against the shore. Gina's on the lookout for some more of those fish. Oh, she's found more. Yeah, that's that lovely color of the Atlantic that I'm used to seeing from South Africa, where you get that sort of green, that bluey green color. Gorgeous. Wow. Now we can start to see the waves breaking on the shore. I'm not sure this is good swimming weather. <laughs> the water looks lovely though. <laughs> I'm Pedro, and I see OK Portugal on YouTube. Yeah. Please subscribe. OK. <laughs> Good one, Pedro. OK, bye. Ciao. Nice to meet you. Ciao, you too. OK, bye. Ciao. Now, if you're looking for a definitive guide on Figueira de Foz, it's this, not here. <laughs> yeah, this video is not it. Uh, this is just our day out, you know. We, we don't really want to walk the entire city and we're not going to show you absolutely everything, but hopefully we're going to show you some cool stuff. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, enough to make you want to come and visit. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we came along. Yeah. So we've just come from the lighthouse over here. We've got this big expansive beach over here. Now it's very windy and the waves are incredibly rough. So we aren't going to be going to this beach, but just on the side over here, there's like a little sheltered beach. It's been sheltered by the wall of this pier. And uh, I see there's a lot of people there swimming. So let's go and have a look. Gina said that um, she has to walk on this little trail over here because all of these little cobbles over here are making her wobble. The cobbles are making her wobble. <laughs> now we've just walked all the way from the edge of the pier. We've been walking in this direction back towards where the city is. And you can actually feel a really big difference. Um, at the edge here, it's super windy. And now we are actually being sheltered by those, um, the Serra de Boa Virgem. And that's what it said on Wikipedia, that actually this shelters the city. 
it's definitely warm working. enough to take my jumper off. Yeah, finally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little beach down here, which is all nice and sheltered from this wall. And uh, yeah, this looks like the most popular spot here right now. Uh, just to the right, we've got like a whole parking lot just full of camper vans. And there's literally hundreds of them there. So yeah, I'm guessing this is the spot where they hang out. A couple of beach bars and all sorts of stuff dotted around. Looks pretty cool. And there's a dustbin that looks like a fish. It's pretty cool, I like it. So this is Cherie Chinmoy, and he's the founder of One Nurse and the Home Peace Run. It's been running since 1987 and it was to promote international friendship and understanding. And if you hold the torch for a moment and make a wish for world peace and join the team, and I think in this day and age, we should all come and hold this torch. I love boats. It's always been a dream of mine to one day have a boat, to sail across the Atlantic. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's ever gonna happen, but I really do hope it does. But every time I get a chance to go past a marina and check out boats, I absolutely love it. Figueira de Foz is known as a tourist city. It's like a tourist town city. Um, as you can see, there's lots of people and we're not even in the summer yet. So in summertime, this place is gonna be rammed. Now, I've heard that they have um, legalized gambling in the city. And so there's actually a big casino here. And that's like a big draw or a big pool for a lot of people. Obviously, it's not my type of thing. But uh, yeah, for some of you at home that like gambling, this is apparently the place to come. It's getting late, it's quarter to five. Uh, we're gonna have to sadly go. Now, we haven't even seen the rest of this place. Down in this direction, it stretches all the way across there. There's tons of restaurants, bars, all sorts of stuff. So if you do come here, make sure you don't just do what we did and you actually go all the way down here because it looks really interesting. But we gotta get back. Uh, you know, our dogs are at home and obviously they're gonna want feeding and all of that soon. I've got sore feet. Gina's got sore feet. So what we're gonna do, first of all, sit down somewhere. We're gonna have an ice cold beer. I'm not. I'm gonna have an ice cold iced tea. An ice cold iced tea. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, just, just relax for a bit. Butard, uh, Uma, Uma Kaneka IPA. <laughs> Obrigado. Uh, esta, yeah, uh, no, 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 uh, the grande, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obrigado. It's time for some beer. Oh, yeah, look at this. Obrigado, <laughs> Ciao. Yeah, sa saude, saude, yeah. Uh, at the proximo. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. So this is an IPA. Cheers. Jing, jing. So I really enjoyed this market. A lot of the markets seem to be very generic with the same stuff, but this has got a lot of really different stuff in it. That's really nice. I could shop here all day, but time to go home to the doggies. So that pretty much wraps it up for us. Uh, I'm really glad that we got to see this place. It literally brought beers to my eyes. <laughs> Catch you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching. Wait a second. This may not be an episode of Portugal Farm Life, but we have found this little mug from that place. It says Portugal, and it says on this side, family farm. So these guys are making beer on their family farm. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. That is properly it now. So goodbye. Bye. Ciao.